Okay, so I got the Crown of Conduct, and this has the possibility to be an extremely damn amazing artifact. It might be one of the best artifacts we have in the game, or at least the best free-to-play artifact. So we are going to get 11% damage at level 1. It stacks so much harder than that at higher levels. But at level 1, and this is a ton for level 1, with this amount for level 1, I'm so happy that it scales faster for power bar used. It's the same as Mr. Freeze passive, basically, they transfer that into an artifact. And at level 1, it's gonna give you 310% more damage. 310% more damage, that is amazingly high. Is basically equal to a 6 stacks passive last half joker in terms of damage stacks. Also, you're going to get the chance to recover uh, power on special above 25. Excuse me, combo meter, which is which is fine. This will also go up. But the fact that this is 11% with the potential of 310% at level 1 in the amount of uh, damage will go higher as you get to higher level of this artifact is absolutely insane. And this will most definitely go well for the League of Marketing because they get double stacking from damage buffs and might be the best artifact for other characters. It might be a while because before it outclasses Dark Metal cards for a lot of other characters. It might take a few levels to get to that point because also Dark Metal cards is instant. You need to kind of stack this, but so we'll test it out and we'll see how it goes. Now, for testing purposes. The enemy bosses do not have much health because I am in uh, tier 1 uh, of Heroic 1. So there's not going to be much health to go around. So this team will uh, absolutely destroy any boss we fight. So we're going to fight boss Batman, who has only 6 build health. And so we're going to just do our best to analyze how well this works. You'll see what I mean in a second. The purpose of this is not to clear the fight as soon as we can because we could clear this man so damn soon. It's the purpose is uh, to see the damage increase in action. So let me get a few hits on me first. So as we can see, it's 30, 30, 30k. 30k is gonna be the amount that we get out of his uh, dot damage without any stacks. Now let's see how high we can get that. Uh, keep in mind 30k when it crits, so it needs to crit. So the highest value we have seen was 30k, roughly. It's kind of the same for Harley. Oh, we should start using specials, by the way. Wait, how do we have 15 stacks? I only used... Wait, 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 wait. I want to check something out, because it shouldn't be 15 stacks there. It's 15. Stack out again. It's 18. Yes, so the power bars that you get from tagging when you're at full power bar, they count as spent power bars for some reason, which makes this even better as far as stacking goes. So basically the over generation of power bars, it's counted as stacking. Okay, so... Oh boy, 300 mil! 300 mil from 30k! 300k from 30k. Literally you got our damage increased by 10 times with the League of Marky. Nah, bro, this is this is absolutely insane. This artifact is absolutely insane. Again, I'll get into more testing. I'll get into more testing. Not sure if I'll release the video with just this testing or I'll do something else on top of it. But we'll see how it goes. In case I do, thanks so much for watching and goodbye. Okay, so I was busy and didn't manage to upload the video about the artifacts since this point. And we got the refresh on Soul Ride Pip, so we might as well test it out a bit more. We have it on Server Banshee, and on Server Banshee there are no other modifiers which are gonna contribute to that. Because with the League of Archie, you need to understand that they take so much more benefit from it than other things. Because they're going to be able to benefit from it on the base hits and on the dots separately. I need to hit him a bit so we apply the uh, torment. There we go. It's 
special disabled. Our special disabled. Third special. Kind of keep in mind the numbers we get, though. Look, this man is not surviving until we get full full stacks. That's a problem. Oh boy, them having so low health is such an issue. Ew, there we go. That's that's a nice skill there. Let's use Super with Reverse Flash as well. Just wasting power bars at this point. Just wasting them to get these stacks. Does the Kakar need to use it specifically? Like, do I need to use the power bars on... Oh, 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 that's bad. That's bad. I need to use the Monster Revenge specifically. It's not like Mr. Freeze passive where it doesn't matter who in the team uses that. I see. I see. My bad. My bad. Okay, damaging the damage difference was not too high compared to the previous one, though. I think we had two disables on the previous one. Yeah, that was the end of him. But sir, I can't really tell, honestly. Like, sir, bench, I can't really tell. And if it doesn't work too well for characters that don't have more than one specific modifier to benefit them, it's not that big of a deal because most characters do have different modifiers. That's why they are good characters and that's why they are kind of meta characters. What did this man do again? Fortified. Oh no. What are we going to do? So what things should we try it on? Uh, Batman Ninja Team, I guess. So yet again, he will most likely not survive the whole fights. And we have the lethal stacking, which is also variable, so it's going to be a bit weird. But nevertheless, they're going to be able to stack it real fast because they generate so much power because of the passive. So that's definitely a bonus for them. With our characters, we'll have to tag in and out a lot at the start to generate power, so you spend it because you want to get as fast as possible to the point where you get the maximum benefit out of it. The Batman team doesn't benefit at all from having uh, free specials from time to time. Because they, they already have more energy than they can ever need. Come on, chill. Also, also, let's, t let's take a look at something. So we have six stacks, right? No, we're not getting stacks for generating over it. Like yesterday when I tested it, it seemed like we were getting some stacks for tagging in and out for some reason. But because it was going over the maximum limit, but we're not getting any stacks over um, generating over it while in combat. Weird overall. Also, we're not generating anything for the um, return special, so that's that's normal. Yeah, I also have no idea for the Batman Ninja team. Like, I'm sorry. It was so easy to tell for the League of Anarchy, for example. But for the Batman Ninja team, like, nah, bro. Okay, what else? What else can we use here? What did Wonder Woman do? I, as far as I'm aware, she doesn't have shields, so uh, we can use any team against her. Zabel Special 1, okay. Look, we're going to take a little bit of a gamble. We're going to use the OG Black Adam. And uh, he does do far more damage than this with all blades. We're going to see if we can get more damage than this man's health. So yet again, that doesn't mean it's a bad artifact. It means it needs to scale better. Because all blades gives you flat attack. This is going to give you damage. The damage is going to be better the more attack you have overall. Which means the higher level passive artifacts you have. I don't think there's absolutely any way we should not be able to one-shot here, but we'll see how it goes. But this is a character that should stomp it, the fight a little bit less, and it will be a good um, kind of a reliable way to tell how much damage we get, because he's not going to get a damage increase at any point in the fight. Maybe after super move, but look, I'm not even going to do super move. Okay, 26, 52, the highest value, so let's try to actually not build combo. Hmm, 
98 the highest we saw, 141 the highest value we saw, 147. Oh, if that's the rate at which it increases, it's it's not gonna be great. So we're doing decent at decent pace damage to her. And again, I'm not doing combo for the purpose of seeing the raw damage increase. That's the most reliable comparison for the most part. Okay, I think we're at maximum stacks. Yeah, at this point we can start doing some combo. The damage on basic attack hits is not too bad, because I, I know his damage on basic attack hits and how it should look like, and this is kind of how it looks like with pretty high level solid artifacts. Like, this is the damage on basic attack hits that this man usually has with uh, two level four three artifacts for any sort. It's like two level four chakras in Advent of Chaos and so on. So it's actually quite decent. Oh, th this is actually quite good, not gonna lie. And this is gonna scale so well with more attack. Like, th this looks really promising, my dudes. Oh, we got stunned. Oh, so she does stun you on, on specials. Good, good to know. Yeah, honestly, pretty good. It seems to be pretty good, though. Yet again, I might be wrong. We need more health to test shit out. We need more health on enemy bosses. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Like, if you liked it, dislike, disliked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!